And head coach Ed DeCellis wearing the headband to get started today. It's not only coaches versus cancer with sneakers and suits, but also banding together. Ed DeCellis lost both of his parents to cancer and had a bout with the deadly disease himself. Sometimes basketball is secondary. Taylor Battle and the entire Penn State family truly banded together on a snowy winter Saturday to raise more than $30,000 for Coaches Against Cancer and the American Cancer Society, helping to fight an opponent that is tougher than any they will ever face on the court. The athletic experience at Penn State extends well beyond the X's and O's of sports. Let's get loose. We need this game, fellas. Yeah. Nothing else to say. Let's come out, a lot of injury. In front of our home crowd, let's take it. Family on three, one, two, three. Yeah. The senior-laden Lions arrived at Penn State as teenagers, and they took the court against Wisconsin as men. With community service and spirit as much a part of their mission as figuring out a way to beat the Badgers. Brian Segrist just told us they took a look outside. There are at least a 1,000 students still lined up between here and Curtin Road trying to get in. This is unquestionably the largest crowd of the year, and justifiably so. Everyone wanted to get a personal view of this Penn State basketball team that was looking for its third win in its last six games over a ranked team. More than 14,000 would watch a Nittany Lions team that was now getting attention of its own with votes in the polls. Near side, backs in, backs it up. Brooks turns right hand up and good. Lower backdoor cut, Taylor lays it up and in. Man, this is like about the worst start imaginable. Wisconsin led the entire first half. Penn State hitting just two of their first nine shots. Nank could go. Wants it. No, this will be Jordan Taylor at the buzzer. It must be so disheartening. I think our kids were, you know, they knew we weren't playing well, but they were real, real positive that we're going to make some shots and things will be, will loosen up a little bit. Which they never did. Battle to his left, battle down the lane, challenges, kicks it off far corner, Brooks now to his left, he spins, window, gone. Yeah, terrific move by Jeffrey again. I think Jeff's got it, they got to get in the ball. And when they didn't get him the ball, he just took it himself, and he knew what to do with it. To Marshall makes the catch, kicks it back out for Jackson, open three-pointer, gone. Yeah, big play. Far wing Jackson, three ball again, good again, 24-17. Flexed, Lure fades in the lane, back of the iron, no clear by Taylor, battle, Penn State down by seven with the ball, looking to cut into it here. Battle to the far wing, hands the ball to Marshall, Marshall to his left, in the lane, a man, the basket counts, and a foul, and Jermaine Marshall will go to the line, we're going to complete a three, point one. Immediately covered by Allen, great contact, and that is pinned by Brooks. Penn State wasn't playing its best basketball, but they were stubborn about it, like a baseball pitcher without his good stuff. The Nittany Lions stayed positive and used their attitude and knowledge to stay with it, knowing their skill would prevail. We don't have those thoughts no more, seriously. You know, we honestly believe, and, and we were laughing around at halftime because, you know, it was, with the last, with, without the last three, you know, by joining Taylor at the end of the half, we were only down six, and we hadn't made a shot in the entire first half. No, so we were actually comfortable and figured if we hit some shots, we'll be right back in the game. We did that. What we need to do is uh, share the ball a little bit more. Uh, we only, think we only had uh, one assist in the first half. So get each other open. We need to just make some shots. They're shooting a great percentage. We're shooting poorly. So we turn that around this half. We'll be all right. Up the inbounds, corner three, Taylor Battle still can't hit one. Offensive rebound, Brooks, strong take. Frazier for battle, top of the key. Now to his right on Jordan Taylor. Stops, fades in the lane, and good. And Taylor's just got to be more aggressive. Court circle. Shot clock at 10. Frazier wants the drive, now does it a crossover. Gasser kicks it off to battle, lays it in. Yeah, another nice job by Timmy. He got himself in low. Battle up the floor, far side, down five. We're going to close it here. Battle to his right top of the key, shot clock at eight. Here's a matchup. Battle on Lure. Battle drives, 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 stops. Up high shot and gone. Taylor Battle was unstoppable, and so were the Lions, who shot a sizzling 63% in the second half. Near wing is Frazier. Battle. Near wing three. Gone. TB. 
seizes the moment. The Penn State has not led against Wisconsin today. Frazier, shots off lining up. Whoa, a tough shot for the little man. Inside with the big folks. To his left, down low, Gasser. Blocked out of bounds by Brooks. The Jordan Center was pulsating, and the one-time 13-point Wisconsin lead had completely disappeared. Breaks the box, battle, their wing for three in the lead. Go! My man is on a roll in this half. The big stars had to show up, and Taylor is showing up big time. Nothing doing on the pick and roll. Shot clock at six. Brooks, hard to the rim. That was a nice move. Brooks to his left against Evans, spins in the lane, right hand, gone! Really smooth by Jeff, you took his time. You can't run that any better. That was the second half in a nutshell. You can't play any better than Penn State did. Three for the lead, gone! He just took his time. Penn State looks to build its lead, far wing. Brooks, he'll take the three, got it! There you go, Jeff Brooks would never in a million years have taken that shot. Bo Ryan's calling a timeout. Jeff is pointing to the crowd, too early to get into that, but big shot by J.B. The Nutty Lions down by 13 at one stage, now lead by 4, 46-42. They remain patient and stuck with the Ed DeCellis game plan, and they've been tough all season in the closing minutes, ranking second in the Big Ten at the foul line. Snaps the wrist. He is 11 for 11 this year in the final four minutes. 12 to shoot. Battle takes it. Battle backs out now with eight to shoot. Screen from Jackson. Battle to his right. Battle down the lane. Challenges. Kicks it off. Laid up and in by Andrew Jones. The Nittany Lions lead 50 to 44 with 114 to go. There's your two big two possession lead. Taylor Battle would score 20 of his 22 points in the second half on his way to Big Ten Player of the Week honors. Thrust, deep three, short, no good. The Nittany Lions knock off Wisconsin, 56-52. And in a must win situation, the Nittany Lions rally from 13 down and get it done. And Ed DeCellis gave a big hug to Taylor Battle. They have had to live with Wisconsin for three seasons plus. They finally got him, and they got him coming from behind. And they won it on guts and toughness here in the second half. Guts and toughness. It would be an appropriate title for this season's Penn State highlight film. Probably beat them, man. My first time beating Wisconsin. Well, we got them again, though. We're going to try to get them again. Well, I said it was a great effort by everybody. Thank you. It was a great effort by everybody. Good job, fellas. Thank you, John, Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Second 20 minutes may have been the best 20 minutes I've seen you guys play since I've been here. That second 20 minutes was phenomenal. Uh, we're out of all you guys, busted your butts, didn't start out the way we wanted to, but you've kept fighting and fighting and fighting, and that's what we've been doing all year. We just gotta fight.